This is the Cape Lookout National Seashore Oral History Project 2009-2010. Uh, it is November the 15th, 2010. This is Connie Mason. I will be interviewing Madge Guthrie, a native of Harkers Island. Testing one, two, three. Testing. Okay, the tape's recording is on, and it looks like we're doing fine. Miss Madge Guthrie, thank you for coming out today. Um, it's a beautiful November day, isn't it? Isn't it the truth? And um, first things first, just tell me uh, who your mom and daddy were. Oh, you, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Joe and Pearl Whitley. She was born and bred here. He came from... Halifax County. That's where he lived. She was teaching in a school there. And at that time, in when like they go in those places on the train, into, they'd have layovers, weights, mm -hmm. and some church was having a like a dinner. Uh, got uh, to associate them with. Cause I asked, I said, "Mother, what what was the first thing you he he said to you?" She said, huh. "Says I said it first. They were sitting, said she was sitting here, and he was sitting around there. And she said, uh, she just turned around and stuck her head around there and said, you know, I never did like backbone.'" Daddy says he, he didn't know what he's drinking. Said and he said he like die. Said he said they got to talking, and every time he came, like as long as she was uh, staying there, he'd come by. Uh, she worked. There. He always ran a like a freight truck. He didn't want to work for nobody else. They said, uh, some of the family said I uh, reading he never went in the army. Or was never drafted. Said he'd kill somebody, or somebody would have killed him. <laughs> but anyway, so he she, he ran freight in a truck. Well, he had a a truck that he he went and got lumber for the food and and every night he'd come down to the store, and everybody knew if they wanted something to bring, they'd meet him there at the store. I remember when the my uh, brother, step half brother, was in the navy, and I remember how every night he'd sit with that t uh, <sighs> radio turned down real low beside him, and I got think like he'd sit there for to see what was happening, and they were two of a kind. So. When uh, Daddy married Mother, uh, he was being raised by his, or held by his gr grandmother, mm -hmm. and she took over. But anyway, they come, uh, said, uh, but after she, he and da uh, Mother got married, and one day he was there, he was kind of, uh, and uh, Daddy said he had already told him, "You respect her." He said, I, "I don't, but, but you give her respect just like she was your mother." And he, they come in or something. He came in and he snapped at mother. Daddy called him into the kitchen. Says, "Do that one more time." Says, and "You're out of here." I think they was about seventeen. Mm. And. Uh, and where were they living at this time? They were living at, at, at Halifax. Our mother, was, of course, then they anything they go anywhere and they wanted to. Mm -hmm. They did them. And I, I got pictures of her uh, coming home. She taught school to the Cape. Oh, did she? Mm -hmm. oh, I believe she was the last one to be where they left. Where where was the uh, schoolhouse on the Cape? 
If, if I if I gave you a picture of the tape, could you kind of point it out? Yeah, it's uh, right there, <coughs> right near the post. The uh, you see, I've got a big Coast Guard station. Here's a here's the layout of the Cape. Now there's the there's the lighthouse, and there's let's see, there's the station. I think. Mm -hmm. That was right there. Now that's where it, right, no mothers wasn't there. There was they had a building back in there. Some are not exactly either just uh, north of number one or or south of number one. I say in between mm -hmm. uh, one and two and through two. Yeah. And uh, anyway, when they done that, he took them down. Took me over down there, and he went in the, I guess it was CCC or something like that. Uh huh. And he went into that. They told him, he said, I'll either make a, make a man out of here or they'll, they'll kill you. <laughs> so, so number two on this is the Gaskell Guthrie house. Mm hmm. So is that, that's close well, to the number room? one. Number one is the Lewis Davis house. Carrie Arundel Davis. Well, I thought that was down there. This is a point coming out here. Yeah, right? that's the yeah. point, and that's the Coast Guard station. Yeah. There. This right here is where, I don't know if you've ever met her or seen her. Uh, Bonnie, where the last, she was the last church. <laughs> last baby. I'm too, I think I just got too tired. Is that, uh, is that uh, young? Is that yeah. the young woman from New Mexico? Yeah. She said her mother had talked about it down here, see she, and they were over there, right? And she, uh, there was some more bo uh, burn, or <laughs> the more of the houses that over there that used them. But the rest of them were good on the mainland. So, so the other families would live on the mainland. You mean? Oh yeah, they had a right good man till it stormed run them off anyway. Where whereabouts on the mainland was it? Harker's Island. Yeah, or? there'd be some of them would stay over here, and that, uh, and then they'd, be, they'd just go into Beaufort too. Mm -hmm. But uh, she said she said she was getting older and older. I don't know what how how many how many odds and ends of stuff she got. She she's, yeah. she's I wanted to has is that display up in here or not? Not yet. Yeah, no. I didn't know whether they were leaving it up or not. But she when she finally she wanted to come back and see where she was born, and we got real thick, and. Uh, or she was all over it. <laughs> she came down here and her birth certificate wasn't right. Boy, she was tore up about that. Said, see, the, uh, they fixed her birth certificate and she didn't, she didn't pay no attention to it. Didn't know anything about it, but when, when the time she came, she got, went to the courthouse and got the real thing. And they had got the wrong date on it. Oh no! And honey, she didn't give up. I got so to the place I, I dreaded for her to call. She spent about a year, it, but she got that thing straight. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it was between number mm -hmm. one and number two where the where the schoolhouse was that your mother taught at. Yes, somewhere along there's this uh, hill, right, right. Uh, Ridge here, like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was, uh, where the houses. This house is that's where we'd stay when we went down there. The the number two house, the Gaskell. No, the Guthrie house. One number one. Okay. Yeah, I've got pictures of that. Oh, right. they since they refurbished it. Oh, since they refurbished it. Yeah. Any uh, any old photographs of the building before? I or? yeah. Did somebody copy those from you already? Or? No, I got, I've got five cases like this of pictures. I was going to work on that today, but I felt so bad I just couldn't do it. Well, Madge, could I, 
Could, oh. could I see them and talk, copy sure, some of them? And you sure can, but I'll have to get them out together. Okay. That'd be great. Well, see, to... I got this, got this camera right here, and uh, I can bring a tripod, and I can just shoot, shoot them, and you tell me about, yeah. about them, and yeah. and uh, boy, that would be great. Right. Um, she's been back five or six times, is she? <laughs> Well, uh, one of the things that the Park Service needs, because the, what they want to do is they want to put as many of these buildings back to the original mm -hmm. as possible as far as paint and how many doors. Well, so they have this one. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but just to see where it came from, too, because yeah. it might have been uh, they didn't have a whole lot of the historic mm. information. Well, about uh, like that, yeah. Uh, they didn't mess with keeping them up, no way. But that if that house over there now is the original. Number one. The, yeah, they added they added a piece on the back of it. That's the reason the roof is like that. Okay. Um We're in we're in Thanksgiving season right now. Uh now let me back up a little bit. Um so, so when she was teaching over here, your father followed her here, and yeah, eventually, of course, she was still teaching all different <laughs> different places. Where, where are some of the other places she taught? What kind of? Do you remember what years about she taught? Yeah, and I'll, I'll get them out of it. This will nudge me, and get me into okay, it. Okay, I sit down in that corner in that big uh, chair. And put them right there and set my other and do it. I think okay. I'll get to put them a little bit better. Okay. And uh, I'll get them out and make some notes. It's what you. All right. So, uh, so she I followed him down here. Yeah. And were you born on Harker's Island or were you born at the Cape? Or? I was born there. I never. I went over to the Cape. I got that sometime. I mean, I had said, I, one, one thing was that, you know, every, school. Was getting whenever it was out, they they might as well have cl uh, closed school. Of course, when that spring thing hit, couldn't do it. She said she she stopped school in March. Of course, when that weather started changing, well, they had their boats and the nets and all that had to get out. And uh, he he still go up state to to uh, work so. <laughs> And uh, like I say, we didn't have anything over there, but uh, two or three of the uh, servicemen that lived over there, they had a wife or anything. <clears throat> they would keep them over there with them. Right. Yeah. So she had to stop school at March. <laughs> said, there's all them nets down there. And she said, nobody... She says, I'll just, I wouldn't say, and I did my duty. She said, but they did. <laughs> she said, I'll just battle for somewhere. <laughs> she had spring fever, too. Well, now, gr uh, growing up on Harper's Island, um, one of the things that, uh, what's the biggest change on Harper's Island that you, when you, when you look at it now and when you looked at it when you were a girl, what's the biggest change you notice? No well. Or is it just so much? It's uh say everything. Uh when they put the bridge here, that's when it started to change. Nineteen forty one. Yeah. And we were people on the island wanted uh wanted it to go to Phoenixville. But they they didn't choose to do it. And come in there, up there on the point there. To, the straits? You know, that's, that, that was a political. Really? Yeah, you know, where they put the, the, where they put the, uh, it was a ferry then. Mm -hmm. But when they got the bridge, that was really, because ones that had to say so wanted to get uh, Marshallburg and all that up in there. So, but, so the political reason? To, yeah, was they they wanted uh, 
to bring Marshall Berg and Gloucester and Straits well, into said, the... they said it was, you know, they were about right, but uh, he said to give them people that live there a way out to it. And, uh, <clears throat> but it, after, uh, well, when they were going to replace that bridge, that was done, I think, I think I was gone by then. Anyway, that, uh, it was so far, and even when they put the other bridge in, we'd still ride the boat. It was quicker to get to town like that. Quicker to get to town yeah. to, to Beaufort. Yeah. And, of course, we let riding it. But I was telling them about it. I can remember it. I didn't know what it was. The boat, they'd go by the uh, front street there and keep right on going and turn around and come back. And they'd do it two or three times. And I remember, I guess I was about eight, nine years old then. But I found out after after I had been working down here so, that what it was they couldn't they couldn't turn the engine off. <laughs> they had to run out of gas. They, I guess that's what they did. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't turn and the engine. We went down there then, and we go in through uh, Charlie Hill store there, and of course they uh, said. Uh, I knew I couldn't have things, and I wasn't, everybody was in the same boat by then. And uh, we'd go up there like that, and I hated it when the tide was down. Because that would make the dock up higher. Right. And uh, they come, reach down and pick us up. I hated that part, hold oh, me off the boat oh. like that. We'd go in Charlie Hill's store. And he had, the, he had him a regular uh, Walmart on each <laughs> side of the uh, uh, hole, like going through on both sides. And uh, I remember when uh, it was the uh, Armistice Day. Armistice Day, yeah. yeah. And we were going through, and I was noticing there was a lot of service men and they were having them kind of uh, time with it. Uh, and uh, let me get it straight now for a tell <laughs> But uh, we go down the street, Mother, whoever I was with, was doing other places, what the thing. And then I love to see with roses mm -hmm. by that. And we go down and look at it all, and I wanted everything I saw, but I wouldn't say so. I knew I couldn't have it. I said that wasn't, uh, no, kick, no kicking and screaming would have done any good. Right. So where, and I, where was that store in relation to modern Beaufort now? On up in there, right about where that parking lot is. Right in there. Right between the Beaufort house and the... Yeah. In that way, in general? Yeah. I used to, uh, used to go there, Dr. Fulcher was there after I got a little bigger, and I'd always have to stop in and see me. And it, it got to be that close, you know, he'd sit with that foot load up, he got in a car wreck. Somebody always said he had another woman in there, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> but anyway, look at all that, and and if I, my mother would go in there or something and I wasn't with her, she said he'd always ask about me, why hadn't I been in lately? But the sudden I started telling Oh, yeah, I'm, about the roses. I'm you rambling, said you love but, roses. No, I interrupted you. I'm sorry. Uh, but you were talking about how you love roses and it was Armistice Day. And yeah, and, and then, but what, oh, that's what I was getting to. Uh, I thought he said, Miss. Armisi. <laughs> and I thought, oh, sorry. Finally, I looked at Mother. I said, Mother, who was, I mean, I had heard that name so much that, you know, I wanted to know where she is, where she's at. She says, Madge. 
What do you know? Why, what do you know about Miss Arvisa? She said, I just want to know who it was. Says, I said, I don't know her. <laughs> and she just roared. <laughs> So she explained to me, Armistice Day. Armistice Day, yeah. Yeah, I said, but then I said, I learned more. Sometimes I'd go with my grandmother, mm -hmm. and of course she had a lot to tell. Now, did your grandmother live on Harper's Island too? Mm -hmm. she, that was your, which one, your mother's mother? Yeah. Um, there's a, you can't see where it is now, but the house is, is uh, still there. I know Bernice, it, it was the youngest sister, and when it got her, she said she she wanted to tear it down. I said, Bernice, I'll, I'll snatch your head off, you think that. <laughs> she says, no, says, just uh, seeing somebody else in it, but they have kept it at the best, and there's a little family cemetery right beside it. What, uh, where's the... Uh... One map of Harper's Island. Can you show me where her house was on there? Or is? I got to find out where I'm at. There's the bridge. Yeah. Let's see now. Rush Point. At one time, uh, my grand great grandfather had all of this at the elbow and up, yeah. up and around. Uh -huh. It was there. And I was trying to see exactly where that rash point. This this is where, right in there is where it was. Mm -hmm. Just go ahead and mark it for me. So that was your grandmama. Uh huh. And what was her name? Bernice. Bernice. Mm -hmm. And what was her last name? I'm trying to think. Grandma. Bernice. <laughs> what was her name? Well, that's not that's not important right now. But I tell you, um, it came right around here. That's that sharp curve there, where you came off the bridge on it there. Mm -hmm. And so that's the cemetery you're talking about was this one right here. That cemetery right there. It's kind of close to where Little Ike's uh, um, ferry is now off of Harper's Island. Yeah. No. Uh, that's, yeah, that's down there. Uh, the, what is the name of it? I can't think of it either. I don't know that they have a sign up. Yeah. Of course, I know the Virgie May is back there. Yeah, I sat there by the school where the whole schoolhouse was. Um, Karen told me that there are different. There were different communities on Harker's Island. Yeah. Like Red Hill and this was Red Hill in here. This out along here. Yeah, because I know that. And then uh, there's Red Hill. And I don't remember much of that being given name, but down here, there was all of that was what it did. Uh, Try to. So, so, like in there, it was called, what was that called? Downtown Harker's Island. What was that called? <laughs> <laughs> Downtown Harker's Island. Was it right at the crossroads? What's that That's, word? It says piling right there. That's the old ferry dock road right yeah. there. Yeah. Well, in there, where was Patty's Hollow? Was um, in there was one of them. Well, there was a Patty's Hollow up in uh, Ocracoke, too. Oh, I don't know. But I, yeah, I believe there was. Uh -huh. But anyway, then. I know, but Red Hill was... was uh, was like in here? Yeah. So like in there? Did it include Rush Point? Yeah. It says it, uh, Papa had all that land in there. And often went and really didn't know. 
Where, where was the theater? Somebody told me there was a theater and a bowling alley and yeah. everything on Harker's Island. Where's that? There's a ferry dock road right there. Yeah. That was uh, during World War II. That was a, there was a store and dance hall. Where the Lighthouse yeah. Chapel is now, close to that? or? Mm -mm. The Lighthouse Chapel is over here, Summers. Yeah, let's see. There's That's the Virgin May Cemetery right there. Everything's so little on this map. That's why. Yeah, I see. That, I have a bigger map. Let's look at this that one. one isn't, I, See if that helps. I want one of them. Well, I'll, get, I'll make you one. So it, it now just uh, places like that. See, there's the cemetery right there. Mm -hmm. And there's the road. Yeah. Prairie Dot Road. That's the cemetery. Mm -hmm. It says right there. Yeah. The cemetery. Methodist Church was right here. Mm hmm. And uh, like I say, the, the theater was along here in the post office. Okay, so we'll put. Uh, yeah, there's, there was a big dot there. That's where the. Uh, uh, and I guess one of these docks was the where the mailboat came in, right? Yeah, that same dock. So back then they come bring stuff. From the boat or whatever, and they go on and they put it off on the island, and they go on to the Cape and deliver their mail to the service. But um, where was the dock for the service people? Was it was it that same dock, the, what they call Coast Guard dock today, which was? Let's see what they're calling. This is what they're calling Coast Guard dock. Yeah. That was put out there. Because there's a Casablanca and it goes all yeah. the way around there. Less than Sally's is right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's been good. They started talking about when it came. Spring came. I said, no, 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 there she'd go anyway. But to, to the end of March, said most of the time there'd be but uh, one or two are in there. So, uh, how how did your family get to Harker's Island? Do you know? I mean, uh, your mother's taught school here, but how did uh, everybody else? Did they just kind of follow? Well, the uh, yeah, most of them came from off the came from the the settlement on the. Uh, Oh, Shackleford? Yeah, they came over from here. Went, they came here and went up to Promised Land and sold her path to me. Uh, they were talking about, uh, said Promised Land, said, of course, some, some highfalutin body later on. Says, here they come. To the promised land. And uh, Mr. Cube says it, that wasn't the reason they called it. Because he brought all of his family. He even got his mother's grave. Is that the right where the channel comes through by the lighthouse? Mm -hmm. And it got washed out in the hurricane. So he went over there and had it all taken up. But it was, most of it was tore up so bad. But they said they recognized, uh, his mother, because she she had uh, the one thing dress up thing she ha had had was a blue comb, and that's like that was dress up said and he he put he he remembered that he knew that and uh, he uh, took took it up just like it was and carried it there to the to Moorhead.
there's two boxes, two graves, or whatever you want to call them. He said, they, of course, they didn't have nothing to do all of that to put it in there, but they put it, he had it put, uh, one section of the graves had all their names to it, and eventually they put some markers in it, and I, but uh, that was what it was. Are you yeah. are you related to Kib Guthrie since she's young? I was young? married to his son. You were married to his son. Mm -hmm. So he was your father-in-law. Mm -hmm. He's he was he was the best person, or was to me. I don't know. But uh, we came in. <laughs> he had never. I wouldn't dare say dirty words around him. <laughs> but we came in from Chesapeake. But uh, I, when we got, we was when I got back to Newburn and heading this way, felt like we were home. And I cranked the window down a little bit. My, then the <laughs> awful stench <laughs> you ever <laughs> And I was a guy, and the youngs was a guy. <laughs> and we got in there. I was a first and you know, Mr. Kip says, don't, uh, don't uh, say that now, you know, okay. He, of course, for one thing, he, the most of them shaft boats coming in at that time went there to get their groceries. Yeah, and it meant had, money to him. Yeah, it meant money to him. And I did, I says, I don't know what it is, it smells like shit to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so he threw his head back, so he said, well, baby, it smells like money to me. <laughs> I love that. That's great. That's great. Um, so did you live in Moorhead for any length of time or always lived here on the island? Yeah, we lived in Moorhead. How long were we there? Two years about that. And then we got transferred again. Well, let's back up and let's talk about your husband now. Tell me who you married. Kilby T. Guthrie. He was always called Tommy. It was Kilby Thomas. Yeah, but that's what I called him. And how many and children did you have? I have three. Mm -hmm. The first one was by the... by that art where... <laughs> Well, we don't have. I thought it was the greatest thing that's ever been in the world. <laughs> but in, anyway, we did that. <laughs> I f well, then you figure, well, now it's time to settle down so we get married. That's what I always ask. Mm -hmm. He done fine until Cal come Friday. <laughs> A lot of times I wouldn't see him no more till Sunday evening. Mm -hmm. Couldn't grow up. Start the cotton pest down. He was killed on the. I was uh, coming over here. Were you still married to him at the time? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so how did you meet uh, Tom? Square dance. Yeah, where was the square dance? At uh, Harlow. Harlow, oh yeah. boy. And we first got going there, and we had the best times. Well, I had a car, and it, once we all get together and we made arrangements. I'd come from Harkers Island with a load of girls. He'd come from Moorhead with a load of boys. <laughs> At the best times out there. We'd go on the floor at about 8, 30, 9 o'clock and didn't come off of it until I think it was midnight. Oh my gosh. Where, where in Harlow uh, was, was the dance? I don't, know, I don't know how to explain it. Barrel 101. I went back, made a point after I was getting settled on everything. When I go to Cherry Point, I see that it looked like a barn. Mm -hmm. 
So I t made a tree up there one day to get the pictures, take pictures of it. And it wasn't about two or three weeks after that, after I had just got it done. They tore it down. Well, good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Well, who would who would play at these square dances? Local people? Yeah. There was a, a group that mostly played for that time. You know, if they moved it to a, at there behind what was Rex Restaurant. Mm -hmm. at there, there's a, a, I guess it was a foreign legion or legion hall of some kind. Yeah. So when they moved there, we, we all right along with that. And who who played? Did anybody? What do you remember the local names of the band or people? Or what kind of? Well, it was square dance music. <laughs> oh yeah, but I can't. I I I wish I had written it down. Cause I was working Cherry Point then, and uh, I uh, and it got to the place where he the one to play in that bar he. All right, it says, wind them up, Matt. And when I did, of course, I always wound it just as t tight as you could get them on. You need somebody breathing down your neck that kind of way, then I'm for all night. <laughs> and then, they, like I said, they went to uh, move to Moorhead. I know, they wanted, I was trying to think what it was, something else they wanted to put there. In Harlow was the reason they lived there like that. We'll think about it later. We'll do it again. We'll talk again. Yeah. All right, Sam. I said, I get started there and get you stuff. And some of our stuff, the, the, I've got a but in the mail boat. Yeah. Yeah. There's some lot There's of stuff. Some of that you can get it back. Mm -hmm. Can I have this one? Yes, you sure can. I'm going to take this. Well, and let me ask you about, um, now you were some relation to one of the men who won the gold life-saving medal out there. That was Tommy's. That was Tommy's family. Yeah. yeah. Big kid. Yeah, big kid. That was that was a uh, remarkable. Yeah. Every one of them, they said, had the flu. They were bad off. But when they called me, uh, they got bundled up and set out there for all of that. John, John's Creek? <coughs> yeah, I don't know how he got came to get it. Of course, I think they sold about 10 cents an acre then. <laughs> you can't get that now. I don't think so Jane's Creek is really John's Creek. I mean, that's what we call it. One girl tried to tell me that it wasn't that. Uh, it was... Uh, That it was Jane or something else? No. Brooks, Brooks is Creek. Hmm. Yeah, it says, hey, yeah. Nope. It well, it says Brook, Brook Creek over here, right there. Yeah. Did you ever call that Creek, Brook Creek? or? Uh-uh. That's it. That right. Maybe it there. Yeah, could be. That's where he got that it was here. It was John's Creek. Do you uh, recall anything about the Indian trails that used to run along Harker's Island? No, not really. Yeah. But, uh, we, uh, when uh, Shell Point was built up with uh, uh, oyster shells, and the, the Indians were trying to get a way to get across to the and. <coughs> They built it like that, and then they got go uh, back to where the deep water was, and they stopped. And the uh, yeah, the animals would go dig holes in the side of it to get up there. I've got a picture that uh, we took there, but it that was about nineteen fifty-two, I think. And but I went down there the other day. I mean, you can look there where the stakes are down, and you can tell exactly where they had been at. Oh, okay. Um, 
that was down on the shore from that, where my granddaddy's place, and I guess in my place too, that's where I was born, lived my first three years. But, uh, well, if you could take that home and study it and just put people in place names, and like I say, if John's Creek's not what you remember, as I mean, is if Jane's Creek is John's Creek, put that in there. And um, whatever else, you know, if you could define, like, basically where Red Hill is, and remember what downtown Harper's Island was called. <laughs> and um, Shell Point, I guess, has always been Shell Point, yeah, huh? Yeah. What was the name of that restaurant that was at the very end there? That's Carl Lewis's. Carl Lewis's. When that is there. The offices. That when you're talking about yeah the yeah they used to that the park service made offices for a while yeah well it, you know it, it burned yeah what uh you told me a story one time about somebody who cooked there it wasn't on tape or anything and I think it was Margaret and you were talking about the grease on the water yeah do you remember that story yeah, well but and I right now I don't recollect. Well, but I know one time I, I was doing the, uh, I was going to Cherry Point work, and I'd come home in the evening and go down there and Miss Harper. You know, and mm -hmm. I had it, it was the biggest kick. But she had been gone that day. Mary Seal, she was working there. And that, I bet that grease had been in that right at least two years. <laughs> I said, Mary Seal. I said, everybody's going. Let's go down there. Let's take that and go down there and dump it in the sand. We sleep the water clear to the lighthouse. Because <laughs> about five gallons of it. We never thought about that. <laughs> I believe that was a story you told me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, I I appreciate you coming out. I wanted I did want to ask you about the holidays since we're right here. Um did did y'all do anything special for Thanksgiving? Big dinner. Big dinner. The churches, of course, always had that. Mm -hmm. How about Christmas? Oh, yeah. That's what I was talking about, going over there. Our miss this day reminded me of the Christmas we had. I remember the first time we had, had lights. Because when the bridge was uh, put there, that's, then they could have... Electricity? Is that when the electricity came, when the bridge came? Well, it was here. The bridge. Well, the bridge was over there about 60 years. I got, well, I get, like I said, I get my, go, go ahead and get my pictures out and sit there in my big chair and just, Throw them here and throw them there into right. tubs and get them. Well, I, I really want it. Do you think we can do get together before Christmas and do that? And Oh, yeah. yeah I'll make myself do it. Because those pictures, that, that would be priceless for uh, research. and yeah. Especially the ones uh, over to the Cape and uh, the island. And yeah. Let's talk about the other day or those the houses. Oh, this is hard for sign. Yeah. This is the one with the houses on right yeah. now. That's what I was going to tell you about it. Right? Yeah. It's gone. It's gone. It's okay. <laughs> That's all right. And God, what, it was just that quick, what I was going to look for. Do you remember any uh, of the sites along uh, Shackerford oh, where yeah. the camps were? Yeah. Let me, uh, let's see. Let me I remember here. during the war, on here. Do you, do you remember any of the, the camps? Now there's, there's yeah. the Shackerford there. Now that's, and I've got a better one here somewhere.
Yeah, this is as far as my other map went. Now, um, this is uh, James Allen Rose said that that was called Black Duck Bay. That wasn't Bald Hill Bay. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the map makers, you know, yeah. they weren't 100%. But there's Well Creek. I think they got that right. And High Hill is right down there. That, when that High Hill was there, that would, uh, you could say it looked like a sun rising. Really? Sun, it, it, uh, and that turned around to ask because the, the uh, sun coming up in the west instead of the eastern. So when the sun came up in the east, it would shine on that high hill and it would look like another sunrise. Yeah, like it came, went from here, it looked bright gold. Of course, it was that kind of dirt, too. Wow. Wow. And there's Ball Hill. Now, this is where... Uh, the Chrissy Wright come ashore, according to James Allen, is right here. Yeah. Is that Beaufort? No, no. This is this is uh, this is Shackleford. All of this mm -hmm. is Shackleford, and um, this is Barden's Inlet coming up through yeah. here. This is the separation, right there. I'll let you take this up home with you too, if you yeah, want to. Yeah, this. We got so after home and myself got tired and we got a big good Government Holland wife. And uh, that's where we started to go in over there. Now he married a lady from Portsmouth, didn't he? Who? Mr. Holland. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody burned that, and they had all that burning going on. Well, that's one of the things uh, we wanted to know is where all the camps were and who they belonged to, and basically a location of where yeah. they were. That's they what burned. I was trying to... Well, yeah. take take that home, and, and uh, I'll give you a call, and we'll set up something so I can copy some of those photographs, and we can talk about some of the photographs, and maybe we'll be feeling a little bit better then, too. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Get me a, a bottle, son. <laughs> well, now, if you get a bottle, you have to share. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. I do give get a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I was always when all our gummies and going, I'd always eat. Be the wind to drive. That's right. I understand. Okay, well, we'll... Uh, I kept them straight now. <laughs> that's right. Well, somebody had look to. Out, look out, bite. Yep. I, this don't look... Well, that's not all of Shackover. It's cut off. Yeah. It's cut off. Um, You've not got one of the other parts. Because the way we, where we stayed was up past the high hill. Up past the high hill. Okay. Carmen's camp was in there. Well, I'll have to look. I might not have that map. I might have to go get it. But I, I should have. I don't know why I wouldn't. Yeah, I get enthused about this. It'll, uh, it'll, it'll give me something to do. Because a lot of it, I really am just wasting away. Because I can't get around good. I stay back there on that creek. <laughs> Where is your house? And that's when we come off right when we come off the bridge. Yeah. Just before you get to that sharp curve. So you're right in here somewhere? Yeah. Are you on the road? Yeah, my house is I swapped uh I was when I got there I was by myself <clears throat> and I was the health was going down soon. And uh I didn't well I could you couldn't get things done. Well, nobody on here doing nothing. Now we got all the, they got a, a dentist, a Gloucester, and a 
a library. And, uh, <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> two or three different ones. But I said I, <clears throat> I told my daughter she had that devil white back there. She was there at that time they were living in that. <clears throat> and uh, the four of them. And I had that twelve room house there. I said it. it Sometimes I wish I hadn't done it. I won't go home. But anyway, that's the way it turned out. So you swapped with them? Mm -hmm. you, you're you in the double wide now and yeah, she's in see, the house? Yeah, I had my son and myself. And yeah. he, of course, he can't be there no more. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was just right for he and myself. In fact, one end of it... I, it, it was his, so far as I was concerned. And I, I could get him to the bathroom, and some and times when he wanted to go out and get in his chair and go and help him with that, that was fine. But it had got to the place where I was having to clean him and wash him, and that was killing me. Gosh, yeah. I told, I said, James, I said, hush. I said, I saw it, I saw that thing down there <laughs> long before you did. What uh, what's the matter with your son, Matt? He was uh, on one of the death traps, a uh, uh, boat, and uh, he was working for uh, James Gilligan. And it was one of the better times there wasn't nobody out. And of course, he thought Jimmy thought that he couldn't stand that, and. Uh, told them to either get out in that road or take their stuff and go. In. They went ahead and went out there and then cut. And they, they, and he said they let the nets out one time and thought to be turned over. And uh, so they headed on back in. They said, no, they didn't take the gear. We get us a job of one of those. And uh, <clears throat> coming in, he couldn't, he couldn't turn the boat or something. And he stuck his head to look out to see if they'd do anything. When it did, that had been drawn so tight, the line on it, that it pulled the, what do they call it, off the side of the boat. Or the, the trawler or the... Their, their arm. That, or the, I, I, I get forget. The trawl it. door? No. The trawl door was on it. But anyway, it was set, set up there, and it was made on the side of the boat, and it had a drawer like that. And he went, he threatened, there was a colored man working on the board. Since he said, he said for a long time that he believed he hit him. And I told him, I says, no, James, I don't think so. Because the, the, the uh, cleat was laying there. Oh, so it was a cleat that it yeah. hit him? Yeah. Took out a boat. A quarter of his skull. Oh, my gosh. And what, while they were trying to save his life, boy, when he, he uh, had a stroke. Hmm. Well, I'm so sorry. That's that. been 20 years. Ten of those people that, that don't, don't know about it, or don't be sure to say, I know we had a restaurant. <coughs> <coughs> I was going, I'd go and visit and drive for and get a load of lumber. And uh, he, uh, we were sitting together and <coughs> he said, What does your wife, what's you going to eat? Because I hadn't said nothing like I looked over at him down there. Mm. He said, you're pretty. <laughs> it be kind of before I got so bad all those years ago. But that's how he done that. And he, was, he kept going, I said. Uh, where, where is he now? He's at uh, Crystal. Crystal Coast House? Yeah. Something like that? Carolina House. Is that it? No, it's Crystal. I 
can't. can't That's okay. Can't can't do it with the one more. I've got to get it, something together so I can. It's a heavy. I've got to get me a new one. It t everything in the world's in it, and by the time I was glad to get a hold of it, and I looked at it one day, and that the zipper was gone. Oh. That other zipper, in the, so I did have it in the. Where did I put that at? Madge, what's your phone number? I mean, I I think I got it in my book in my phone. Seven two eight two six four two. Well, I'll give you a call. Uh, I'm going out of town this this week, and then we got Thanksgiving. What are you doing now? Uh, well, I'm working part time at the library at Cherry Point. Are you? <laughs> and uh, I'm doing this project for the park and for the museum. In other words, you got so now you can do what you want. To. Yeah, yeah. Now during March, I mean uh, January through uh, May. April and May, yeah. I'll be working part time with my mother too as an accountant assistant. So I'll have three jobs then. So, <laughs> but anyway, well, thanks, Madge, and I'm going to end the uh, end the tape here, and we'll just uh, make it a point. I get more. Crystal bluff. Crystal bluff. That's it. Okay. <laughs>